Hello, fire signs. Welcome to your reading. That surprised you, didn't it? <laughs> Not really. Just joking. I've decided to try something new for me, and that's the videos I upload onto YouTube will be alternated now. I'm going to alternate the collective readings, such as this one, which deal with the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, water signs, Pisces, Pisces Cancer, Scorpio, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and of course, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Then I'm going to alternate, alternate that with individual readings, dealing with each of the signs individually, as I have been doing in the past for those of the to those of you that have been following my channel. So let me know what you think. I don't answer the comments, I never will, but I do read them and they are very, very much appreciated and your support is very much appreciated. Let me know what you think in the comments. So let's, without further ado, get into this. Universe, what is going on with the fire signs, please? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Angels, spirits, guides in the universe. What messages do you have for the fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. messages do you have to channel through me to give to my fire signs what's going on with Aries Leo and Sagittarius please I'll do one more shuffle right, here we go oh the world card full card Oh, fresh start, cycling your life is finally coming to an end. New opportunities coming in. Important decisions to be taken now to start this new phase in your life. You're dealing with somebody from a distance, possibly another country. I'm getting travel here. And there's an important decision on whether to take a leap of faith into a connection. It's a connection with the past because there's heartache here. There's separation and to feel heartache you've got to have dealt with somebody. It's not easy to deal with heartache over somebody brand new. Usually it hasn't got that far. Yeah, this is, this is somebody dealing with the past. Hmm. Now, for those of you where there is something new coming in, brand new, that heartache is you healing from a past connection that you haven't ever got over. Mm. And this has made you very, very cautious. You're still healing. You want to do something different. And... There's changes coming. There's relocation here. And as I say, either you want somebody from the past to come in, there's an offer, an apology, or they're approaching you wanting to come back in. I don't care which way round it is, but there's a chance here, if you want it, of the past coming back around. At the very least, you get the chance to sort the karma gone through a tremendous transformation there's like a purity about you now kind of like a reboot whatever happened in the past will stay in the past now the doors are closing on both sides you and the person you're dealing with or people you're dealing with Only one way now, and that's forward. <laughs> that's the phone, believe it or not. <laughs> Don't worry, answer machine. Mm. 
there's a lot of wishing going on here. Be careful what you wish for, Sag. One catchphrase coming up, it will manifest, but not necessarily in the form you want it. So if you are wishing for something, drop the expectations on how you think it's going to work out. Because I'll guarantee the universe will throw a curveball at you. It will not work out the way you want. But you're dealing with a soulmate, pretty sure. There's an offer of love here. Surprising feelings. Of course, with that star card there, Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarian or very strong Aquarian energy. There's a renew, there's a whole new newness about this. There's a whole new fresh approach. Mm. Yeah, expect in the near future any rifts between you and anybody to be healed or the chance to heal scars. Mm, communication both physical and from the universe the ace of swords now with this ace of swords I feel there was communication or action over distance I'm getting distance that set a chain of events in action that was not stopped or could never be stopped even if you wanted to. It's no good regretting. You know, what's done is won done. But believe it or not, those what what's happened has was unavoidable. It was meant to happen. It gave you two time to have a break and realise the true source of the connection, i.e. soulmate, twin flame, very spiritual. And I'm getting that a lot of you have tried to subdue these feelings you have for these person, but you could never quite get rid of them, no matter how hard you tried, no matter how long you've been apart. I don't care if it's been a month, two months, three years, 20 years, whatever. The feelings have always been there. Now, with this Ace of Swords, I feel there's some decisive thinking, and I'm picking up a peaceful resolution and there's communication to and from somebody from the past. Which leaves you with important decisions. But at the moment, it's in limbo. You're holding it back, they're holding it back, you're mirroring each other. But there's messages coming from the universe. This is part of this Ace of Swords. You know, realisations. It's bringing in mental clarity. And... With, coupled with the feelings and this Ace of Cups and the Star card, it's the universe pushing you in. It's basically follow your destiny, follow your feelings. Now, you or they or both of you could be in another connection. I don't care. If you're with somebody, Tom, Dick, or Harry, if they're with Tom, Dick, or Harry, I don't care. The universe is pushing you together for whatever reason. You might say, well, I'm in control. Yes, you are. There's karma here. And for however how long you, this person comes back into your life, it's a chance to at least sort the karma out and either stay together or move on and put it to bed once and for all. It's been a long emotional journey. Up and down, inconsistent. You didn't know what you want. They didn't know what they want. Now it's time for the truth to come out. Somebody here is going to reveal their feelings. And you will be pulled to your heart's desire. You will express yourself in a brand new way. And again, there's messages here. Communication. You know. Don't be fooled by the pink tights. <laughs> you know, there is some emotional communication here and emotional expression. It could be lukewarm. It's not full of passion, although you're a very passionate sign. You know, 
emotional connection. Yep. The past between you and this person are going to cross again. But again, free will, it's up to you whether you accept it. Mm, there's choices here. There's a lot of admiration going on. You admire them. You draw, you draw a lot of attention from a lot of different people. There could be children involved here, but there's, there's a lot of reevaluating, a lot of transformation going on with you. This other person you're dealing with is quite successful. They could be communicating by the internet with a lot of people. Could be due to their work. But there's a lot of communication going on. Mm. Yeah, reconciliation. There you are. You're very strong around them and I I would even go so far as to say they are waiting for you to communicate. You know this waiting game that you're both going through. One, because you're waiting for each other. And two, as you're waiting for this dreaded Covid situation to end. So that you can travel. Yeah, you're going to change locations. You've gone through a very tight learning schedule. You've learnt a lot. And you're ready to communicate. You're ready to open up. You're going to leave somebody in the cold. You are going to make a decision. And this, this is a nomadic energy for me. There's no house in the background like on the King of Pentacles in this deck. You look in the Rider Waite. You can Google it if you want. Google the King of Pentacles. And you'll see in the background there's a house, a castle. Here, no. This is a person who can settle anywhere and call it home, regardless of where they were born or what country they were born in. But you're on the move. And this person is also very, very adaptable. And as I say, even if you're both in connections, there's a coming together. There's an opening up of communication or the chance. You might, this person might not be flavour of the month with you at the moment, but believe me, there's a special connection there. The universe wants you to see it. Yeah, and some of you will ignore it. They're, I feel they're both mirroring each other. You're both waiting for each other. You're both concentrating on your own self-interest. You know, there's a situation here where somebody got very, very comfortable in the past. Perhaps you chased them or they chased you and everything got very, very comfortable. And it was no solid foundation for this to work on. That's why it collapsed. And that's why the universe is bringing this around again. To give you two, if you want it, and I keep emphasising, if you want it, free will choice. There's a brilliant chance there to sort this out once and for all, either way. I hope that's helped. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye for now.